I'm Tim Vink. I work for BIT. It's a Dutch business-to-business uh, -business ISP. I worked there for five and a half years now as a network manager. We started out with uh, implementing uh, IPv6 throughout the core network. And when that was done, we started implementing it on uh, the services we offer. So there was uh, internet access services, co-location, hosted uh, services. Well, the main bottlenecks, I think, were mostly getting our uh, suppliers to thoroughly provide IPv6 support. It's sometimes hard to get them uh, to realize how important IPv6 is, and it can be hard to get them to uh, give you decent support. We uh, have uh, discontinued our contracts with several uh, suppliers because of the lack of IPv6 support. We firmly believe that uh, the tunneling shouldn't be used. It introduces uh, many problems which are very hard to debug. We, we believe that there is only one, through, one true way of offering IPv6 and that is native. Well, most questions are uh, related to uh, what do you do with all those IP addresses you get? Because people are used to getting only 8 or 16 IP addresses and now they suddenly get a slash 48 or a slash 64 and they need to uh, think about how they uh, design their network. Um, another question we often get is uh, how do you uh, cope with not having a net? Because they now have to uh, use public IP addresses for all their uh, equipment. We're a small organization so it's quite easy to train our uh, staff to uh, understand IPv6. And uh, a lot of the a bit more difficult questions are handled by our network engineers. Easier questions, we train our, our staff to uh, use it. And uh, by using it throughout our organization, um, they are used to uh, working with uh, IPv6. It's not a really strong uptake yet, but I think in the coming years we will see it. There are a lot of changes in the IPv6 world in the last 12 to 24 months, I think. Now people start to realize that we will need to be IPv6 ready in a short time. And you can see that in the demands by uh, governments in IPv6 support, um, larger customers checking if you're able to implement it. I think that's a good sign. Yeah, well, my advice would be to get started. Some, one way or the other, it's almost too late. You should be uh, running IPv6 already. I think uh, well, IPv6 will be a requirement for, for your new customers. They will demand IPv6 support for, uh, from you. So if you won't have it, you will lose your edge and uh, they will go to other uh, ISPs.